no need for me to make any contribution. Just a little perspective on some of the far-reaching decisions he has taken. The oil subsidy has become an albatross round the neck of the Nigerian economy for the past 40 to 50 years. And he took the bold step of removing the fuel subsidy. That will certainly free up resources that will come down to the states for your developmental initiatives. But it must be borne in mind that we should all be aware of the consequences of unveiling a masquerade. The oil scam cabal is a very, very powerful cabal that are dangerously loaded and they will go out of their way to undermine this great initiative by Mr. President. I will urge our colleagues, our governors, to really rally around the president and see to it that we call up the bluff of all the machinations that will be unleashed on the polity in the coming weeks. Some will certainly resist this decision. But even now, oil is going for 740 naira per liter in Togo. Cameroon had to close down their refinery because of cheap oil coming in from Nigeria. So there is a need for us to really rally around this beautiful decision by the president because it's for the good of our economy. Our economy is in a very, very bad shape. We either get rid of the oil subsidy or the oil subsidy gets rid of the Nigerian nation. That's how bad things are. So I just want to reiterate that let us rally around Mr. President. Let us not budge. Let us be resilient. Let us stand our ground and see that these two decisions, the collapse of the multiple exchange rates that has fueled a parallel market of corruption and the fuel subsidy scam. Thank you very much. And may God bless us all. Governors, President, thank you very much. Uh, the meeting is not strange to me. But the content as we have seen this morning. It's so valuable. The camaraderie is very stimulating. This is about Nigerian project, not about Bolas. I don't have dealership in petroleum products. And I don't intend to have one. Decisions that you have seen, and I thank you for supporting, for encouraging all of this. It's one, I inherited and it is fundamental, inherit the asset and liability of my predecessor. That's it. No budget, no penny that I've removed. This is the first time you enter the council chamber, right? This is the first time that I'm entering it too. So, <laughs> oh. Oh, oh. what is it? But we have to push on. We have to make decisions that affects all of us. 
Are you as progressive thinkers, philosophers, under the umbrella of our party, as a very serious role to play in educating the people and making sure that we manage ourselves. One, I will take the opportunity to appeal to you on the question, on the leadership of the National Assembly. Maybe get a committee to see the Senate President. So that if there are areas, I mean, of conflict of or inadequacies, then from there, collaborative leadership <laughs> can straighten it out, can negotiate, and make a deal and get the stability that is required. Two items. Uh, we need to do some arithmetic and uh, so searching on the minimum wage. We will have to look at that. We are digging deep into the revenue of the federal government. We must strengthen the source and application of those funds. Where is it coming from? Add security council meeting yesterday of the items, mainly security, then revenue. Where are the discussions? And I want you to please continue in that line. If we think together and work together, Nigeria of our dream is not far away. Be sure we're not going to have the multiple exchange rate anymore. To you, any time. It was late, they called for this meeting. And I said, okay, set aside my time. I must be here. That is the response to you. We equally have a political party to manage. Whichever way you skin it, we are still playing politics. But here we are. We have inherited the asset and liability of our predecessors. I will campaign for the job. We can't complain. We got it. To me, you are very, very lucky. How many, out of how many millions of Nigerians? That you now come out
being the governors, and particularly governors from our party, I just need to appeal to you. Put yourself together and say, let's constantly, constantly deliberate, think together. And I maintain an open door policy. Get that one clear. I'm going to be making two announcements today. Appointments. I'm going to appoint Femi Gajabi Amira as the Chief of Staff. And I'm going to take I announce George Akume as SGF. <laughs> so if we take photograph, you like to smile, we smile. <laughs> if you don't want to smile after that, that's the, that's the end of it. I think I should respect you by giving that to you in this chamber uh, first hand. <laughs> That's it. Um, may God bless Nigeria. May God bless all of us. Uh, it's in your hand. And I'm ready to walk, consult, and listen anytime. Thank you very much.